Hello everyone, I'm Eddie B. Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing the guitars I own. So guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, as you know, this channel does cars, fish, and guitar. Now, normally my uh, car videos come on Monday, Tuesday, uh, and Thursday. And then if we have a special, we'll do a Saturday special. And once in a while, I guess I might do a Sunday special. Yes, if there's something big going on, I'll do a Sunday special. But I'll talk, uh, I'll tell you guys all about that in a later video. But, guys, since um, I didn't have enough time to do a music video or a guitar cover uh, yet, I decided to show you guys what kind of guitars I actually have. Uh, yes, they're unique and they're special to me. So let's go on and sh I'll show you guys the first. So over here is we have a classical guitar made in Lubu Sech Republic. It's a strunal guitar. This is I don't know what even size it is. It's a half size guitar. This is my first ever guitar that started. So as a history, my background history of guitars, I actually started as a classical nylon guitar string player. I still play a little bit classical nylon, just not as much. Uh, I mean, it, I don't see the too much need. I still practice because I love playing it, but like I don't see too much the need of playing nylon strings right now because in the praise and worship band, they you can't really play that you play. Uh, Rhythm guitar only. There is no nylon strings. Nylon string is almost similar to uh, orchestra. So yeah, this was my first guitar since I was eight years old, and so I've been playing guitar for. Uh, it's gonna be almost fourteen years, so about thirteen years. So next summer, after this one, it's gonna be fourteen. So yeah, thirteen years of playing guitar so far, and actually, just on a, on a, on a side note. I've, I've been in, involved with fish as uh, for 13 years as well. As cars, I'm a little bit under. I'm, uh, I started cars when I was 17, actually. So I've been into them about five, like as a car enthusiast. I mean, I've been always into cars, but not as a car, heavy car enthusiast. So like 17 is when I really started. Um, so yeah, guitar 13 years, fish 13 years, cars five. Now, this is my first guitar, half size nylon string. I can't even play it anymore. I mean, I can play it, but it's like um, so easy to play because look at the size of my hands compared to how small it was. So this is the full size nylon string guitar, classical guitar. This is a Yamaha CG111C. Uh, I do not know the cost of these. I bought it off of Craigslist for a hundred bucks or Actually, it was bought for Craig's, from Craigslist for a hundred bucks. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Still in good condition. And the, it, I'm gonna tell you something unique about nylon strings. They are the hardest, the hardest to change. And I did change them myself. Just look at them strings, right? Uh, the, the knots you have to tie to get it perfect, just perfect. So yeah. I had to do that, and it and it, it takes a while to change the strings on a nylon string guitar or a classical guitar. But yeah, this is the full size classical that I have. It's actually really good quality, so I would actually, as the first classical guitar, if you're not gonna go in a high end of maybe a $2,000 classical guitar, I would recommend getting a Yamaha. All right guys, this is my rhythm guitar. This is my Yamaha FG700S. This is a full size. I've been having it for a few years. A good sound quality coming out of it. Uh, you could you could buy them brand new for about three hundred dollars at the music store. Really good first acoustic guitar to own for anybody. I'd say I have no problems with them. I love I love the sound quality and everything about it too. All right, and this is my. Epiphone by Gibson Super Strat, or Strat, however you pronounce it. It's when they're brand new, 
They can cost over $1,000. I picked this one up from GuitarCenter.com for about $400. Now, I'm going to tell you it's broken. I mean, it still works perfectly if you want to have it in a deep tone because these knobs right here, they're stuck. I have to go get the guitar fixed at the music store because they're stuck into a bass note. I mean, a bassy type feel on the guitar. And I don't really want that. So I got to fix a little bit. It still works perfectly. Sounds coming out beautiful. Uh, but I still need to get uh, have this guitar give it a tune-up because it's been kind of abused from where I bought it. But this guitar is a very heavy guitar. I'm ac actually... This electric guitar is what I would recommend after the other guitar that I'm going to mention that you're going to get. So this is the next step up from your beginner electric guitar. You can play this both in rhythm and lead. It does perfect in both. Time for me to explain you guys what is a piece of junk and what is not a piece of junk at the same time. This is both a piece of junk and not a piece of junk. This is a China guitar. Who knows what kind of brand it is because there is absolutely no markings. You buy the guitar and the amp for about 100 from not from anywhere from, I've seen it from 80 to $110. Any color you want, just, and it's light. Like, it just doesn't feel good quality at all. Uh, they do kind of sound good. They are perfect for beginner electric guitar players. If you want to just fiddle around and, like, getting starting guitar and you're not sure if you want to spend all that money and buying guitars. But it's still kind of junky. But I will still recommend it for a beginner because that's all you need to do to start learning. Uh, pretty decent sound quality, I'm going to say, coming out of the Chinese guitars. Not good. Not as good as a Super Strat or the acoustic. But yes, still pretty decent, good guitar sound quality coming out of them. Not really, like I said, not 100% good. But still, for a beginner, that's good enough. Now, I'm going to show you why the main reasons it is junk. Not because of sound, but the way it was built. Um, first of all, these for your straps keep coming off. This is actually a screw now instead of the thing because it just basically uh, kept falling off. So it just went screw back in because uh, the wood quality on this is like cardboard. So it becomes bigger and b the hole becomes bigger and bigger as you're trying to screw it in. So you basically kind of tearing apart the guitar on the inside. So I just had to screw it in and never fallen off yet. But yeah, it's it's done a, a quite a bit of kind of a damage. So that's why. And it's light. It doesn't feel like it's going to last long. That's why I say it's junky. But otherwise, go ahead and pick this one up on eBay for $80 to $110 if you're just starting to guitar. Especially if you're starting electric guitar.